Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good evening. Good evening. Merry Christmas. It's so wonderful to have you gathered here today for our annual Christmas Eve service. We're so excited to pre present some poems that we have written here for this service tonight, and we're welcoming you online. Uh, may this be a blessing to your family and a blessing to those who watch it. Uh, would you join me with a word of prayer? Lord, we are so grateful to be here. We are grateful that you have given us this time to be able to reflect upon your birth, upon your life, upon the impact of the gift of your Son into the world and on our lives and hearts. I pray, Lord, that we have time to tell the story, to share you with those that we love so that they may understand how important it is and how important you are to us and the importance of the gift of grace that you have given to all of us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And everyone said? Amen. 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 Would you please stand as we sing?
seated. And she gave birth to her first, oops, we want to have the lighting of the candle first. Luke 1, 26 to 38. Now in the sixth month, and the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, a descendant of David. And the virgin name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled by the words and wondered what kind of greeting that this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive, have a child, and give birth to a son, and are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. How can this be, Mary said, since I am a virgin? The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she was called barren, is now in her sixth month. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, I am the Lord's servant. May it be according to your word. And the angel departed from her. We light this candle to remember the birth of Christ. It was a miracle, the creator of the world coming into the world in order that we might be saved. We remember the promises of God. We remember his faithfulness. We remember his patience, his mercy, his grace, and we remember his holiness. Of all of these are found in Jesus, and it is with this we celebrate and thank God for. It is these we remember and praise his name. It is these we remember as we pray for our church, our city, our world, that we may come to know these gifts as we know them. As we celebrate this Christmas, may we always remember the Christ child given to us. Let us pray. Dear God in heaven, thank you for the gift of your son, the greatest gift one could ever receive. May his light shine through each and every one of us. Amen. 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 Luke 2, verse 7. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in the manger, because there was no room for him in the inn. What if the manger had been empty and no angel in the sky had stopped to tell the shepherds that they really should pass by? A dark and humble stable where God's glory shone around and the Father's precious only Son, a baby, could be found. Then there'd be no heaven waiting and no Savior's arm held wide to welcome his invited guests to come and step inside. There'd be no heavenly bridegroom, no glorious wedding feast, no church, no heavenly family, from the greatest to the least. If Joseph had been obstinate or Mary had said no, if the wise men hated traveling and didn't want to go, if the shepherds there in Bethlehem kept quiet about it all, would there be a Christmas story of a humble cattle stall? If he who reigned in heaven, the king enthroned on high, had been too busy making worlds to leave and come to die. Or if all our pain and helplessness, our shame and our disgrace, 
had triggered only justice and no amazing grace. There would be no friend like Jesus to calm us in the strife, no saving free forgiveness, no second chance at life, no gentle Holy Spirit to change us from within, no overcoming power, no victory over sin. So come with me on tiptoe and we'll take you to the place where Jesus, baby Jesus lies with tears upon his face, assuring us of gospel truth that in this tiny form Within the hay on Christmas Day, redemptive love was born. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, there's been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. The shepherds had an angel. The wise men had a star. But what have I, a little child, to guide me home from far, where glad stars sing together and singing angels are? Lord Jesus is my guardian, so I can nothing lack. The lambs lie in his bosom along life's dangerous track. The willful lambs that go astray, he bleeding brings them back. Those shepherds through the lonely night sat watching by their sheep until they saw the heavenly host who neither tire nor sleep, all singing glory, glory, in festival they keep. Christ watches me. His little lamb cares for me day and night that I might be his own in heaven, 
So angels clad in white shall sing their glory, glory, for my sake in the height. Lord, bring me nearer day by day, till I my voice unite, and sing my glory, glory, with angels clad in white. All glory, glory, given to thee through all the heavenly height. Please stand. had gone away from them into heaven, and the shepherds began saying to one another, let us go straight to Bethlehem then, and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. So they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. When they had seen this, they made known the statement which had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it wondered at the things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary treasured all these things, pondering them in her heart. Are you willing to put your life aside and step into fray? Not a war to be waged, but a life to live for someone else. Not your way, but his. Not your wants, but his. Not your comfort, but his. Are you willing to walk so you can carry him? Are you willing to starve so you can feed him? Are you willing to get wet so you can shelter him? Are you willing to put your life aside and step into darkness? The war will come, not on tippy toes in satin slippers, not covered in medals and snapping salutes of honor, but with dirt and whips and swords and thorns and death, and death and the dead. Are you willing to give your love away and add worry to his life? and add your worry to your life, to double your crow's feet, to silence your tears for his sake, to wring your hands in the shadows so he doesn't see, but know that he knows, and he may not seem to care, but one day you will know he did. Are you willing to live without leading, to follow his tiny feet at first, and when they grow, to step in his steps, to follow him from land to land, to see the people he's touched and wonder what might have been, to long for his touch and hug and know the world needs him more. 
even though you need him most. To watch him die with the world on his back, crushed under the weight of sin, blackening the sun, cracking the earth, tearing the veil, breaking the heart. Are you willing? Are you willing? Mary was. Mary was willing. Make me willing too, so my heart might be healed and my love begin. Joy is Jesus wrapped in swaddling bands. Joy is Jesus in Mary's loving hands. Joy is Jesus making sorrow sing, mending deepest heartaches. What a gift to bring. For from the highest heavens, knowing well his plan, God laid him in our hostile arms, the precious Son of Man, knowing all before him, the crib, the cross, the cost. He came to die at Calvary and seek and save the lost. That's you and me and everyone who's living on this earth. That's men and women, black and white, who need and want new birth. That's those of us with broken hearts and those who celebrate. It's those of us who love and laugh and those of us who hate. If empty was the manger and empty was the cross, if Jesus' tomb who was occupied, then all of us are lost. But here lies heaven's treasure, God's precious, dearest prize. In him will all our future hopes and dreams be realized. So may his joy now fill you and the peace of God be known till we celebrate our Christ, Christ so we celebrate our Christmases around our Savior's throne. The shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as had been told them. Grim was the world and gray last night. The moon and stars were fled. The hall was dark without song or light. The fires were fallen dead. The winds in the trees was like the sea, and over the mountain's teeth it whistled bitter cold and free as a sword leapt from its sheath. The lord of snows upreared his head, his mantle long and pale. Upon the bitter blast was spread and hung o'er hill and dale. The world was blind, the boughs were bent, all ways and paths were wild. Then the veil of clouds apart was rent, and here was born a child. The ancient dome of heaven sheer was pricked with distant light. A star came shining white and clear above the night. In the dale of dark in that hour of birth, one voice on a sudden sang. Then all the bells in heaven and earth together at midnight rang. Mary sang in this world below. They heard her songs arise o'er mist and over mountain snow to the walls of paradise. And the tongue of many bells was stirred in heaven's tower to ring when the voice of mortal maid was heard. That was mother of heaven's king. Glad is the world and fair is the night with stars about its head. And the hall is filled with laughter and light, and fires are burning red. The bells of paradise now ring with bells of Christ Christendom. And Gloria, Gloria, we will sing that God on earth is come. Please stand. Straight. 
Please be seated. Oh, that my words were written. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book, that with an iron stylus and lead they were engraved on the rock forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will take his stand on the earth. Even after my sin is destroyed, yet from my flesh I shall see God, whom I myself shall behold, and whom my eyes will see and not another. My heart, my heart fates within me. Could it be that our Savior thought of that day thousands of hours ago when the air was cool, the night was dark except for one star that showed the world something new had begun? Did he think of that day? Did he think of his earthly father desperately seeking shelter, contemplating the danger of a night outside, a birth in the cold, settling for an animal shelter where the baby sat? Did he think of that day? Did he think of the day when the wise men came and gave gifts they could well afford, gifts for escape and gifts for death, but nothing to hold, no blanket for comfort, nothing for a baby or a mother or father? Did he think of that day? Did he remember the shepherds revealed in the night, told by the angels, the world is turning over. The light has come to live among us. Don't delay. Go and look. He who will change the world. Did he think of that day? On the cross, filled, tearing, gasping, grasping, the faces filled with hatred, screaming, King, save yourself. Die, liar. A few friends and his mother at his feet. Did he think of that day? John, take care of my mother. Thief, join me in paradise. Father, forgive them. I love them. He remembered. He remembered. It is for us to remember and to pass on the memory, not just of the day Jesus was born, but of the day he died and the day he rose. For the gift of his life is life for us. The gift of his death is life for us. And the gift of his resurrection is resurrection for us. We take this time and this day to remember the gift that God gave us, that he put inside of us, and gives us an opportunity to share that with our family and our friends and share in a way and at a time that people will listen. We close our service by singing the song Silent Night, lighting some candles, and sharing with one another. Not just the light, here in our hands, but the light also in our hearts. Please stand. Mm -hmm. 